We are going to have a look at adding a command button to a form. This isn't strictly in the ECDL advanced syllabus, but I find it a very useful tool. It's just simply adding a control to the form that we've been doing over the previous few videos. So I'll open a form, vehicles, and switch to design view. And again, although you don't need to, I'm going to create myself a little bit of space in the form header to put my command button. The command button is available on the toolbox, and it's this icon here, command button. Again, just make sure your wizard is on. It really does make life a lot easier. Select the command button, and then click and drag where I want that button to be. And because I've got the wizard, the command button wizard, dialog box opens up. There are lots of categories of events that we can get this command button to do and the actions associated with it. So for example, we've got record navigation. We can assign all these activities to this button. So when, it is, when the button is pressed, it will jump to the first record. When the button is pressed, it will jump to the previous record. Or when the button is pressed, we can add a new record. Or when the button is pressed, we can delete a record. There's form operations. So when the button is pressed, we can close the form. Or open a different form. Print the form. We can get it to close the application totally or open Microsoft Word. So this command button is really very powerful. When you first start using it, the two things you'll probably use it for are closing the form, perhaps opening another form, which is very similar to forms and subforms, or if I can find it, Or add a new record. It could be very useful to have that at the top of the screen rather than fiddling about with the little uh, navigation buttons at the bottom of the of the page. I'm going to show this by way of demonstration the close form. Carry on through the wizard. We can get the button to have text on the form and there's a preview there and we could type in anything we like there. If I could type, that is. Or we can simply have it as a picture. There's two available, the exit one or the stop sign. But you can browse and find any picture you like to add to this icon. Or it can show all the pictures that are available actually within Access itself. I like the exit sign when I'm closing a form. So that's the one I'm selecting. Click on Next. Give the button a name. Again, make it as meaningful as possible. And then finish the wizard. There's a button in design view. So an object like anything else, we can reshape, resize it. You can go into properties. Interesting to have a look at those properties and what they actually do. I'm not going to go through them here. But it's useful to always have a click down because if you didn't have your control wizard set up and simply drew the object, then you would have to go through these properties to tell it what to do when pressed. In this event, it would be on event, on click, do something. But I'm not going to go in that here. We've got our button. Let's see it in operation. I'll save the form, switch to form view. Click the button and the form should close. There we go. So that is adding a command button to a form.